Hello there, time for a very thorough look at my rather ridiculous skincare routine, my most requested video. Skincare was my first beauty love. As you're about to see, this video is the definition of that Gossier quote, everyone says they're low maintenance, it's okay, neither are we. I just like having a lot of options, high end, a drugstore, to swap in and out depending on the state of my skin. I love taking a little time out for this routine each day. It's never a chore, no matter how late it is, where I am in the world, I always do it. It's a ritual I really look forward to. P.S. I had way too much fun color coding that. <laughs> Every morning I splash my face with cold water. That's it, see you next time. <laughs> no, it's about to get a lot worse. Each day I apply a light layer of Glossier Priming Moisturizer. It's light, hydrating, dewy, and a great base for makeup. I've been using this for quite a while. Then Mecca Cosmetica to save face SPF 50 on top. Mecca is Australia's leading beauty store and this is their in-house brand. Best face sunscreen I've come across. I use it every day, even if it's cloudy or raining. Sun protection is my passion. Yeah, that sounded as lame as I thought it would. At the end of the day to remove eye makeup, I always use the Chanel De Maquillant Yeux Intense. This biphase solution is so good that there's literally nothing left, sorry. It gets everything off in one swipe. Best eye makeup remover ever. Now, cleanser. This might be my favorite bit actually. I've recently started double cleansing and really like the results. My skin just feels much more clean. I often use Glossier Milky Jelly first, a gentle gel conditioning face wash to remove face makeup and that top layer. Then the La Roche-Posay Effaclar Cleanser, a more intense foaming gel cleanser that makes your skin feel squeaky clean, but never stripped. Another version of this double cleanse is Effaclar first, then Bioderma Sebium, which has a very similar purifying foaming gel feel. I basically trust French skincare brands with my life. But a new step in my routine is the Hop and Cotton Foam Party Cleanser. This is an amazing Australian brand that can be completely personalized to you. It's perfect for sensitive skin or specific concerns because you fill in a very thorough skin questionnaire, then each product is handmade for you. The cosmetic chemist behind it all is the lovely E Ting, one of my Aussie viewers who very kindly offered to send me a few of these products. Really happy with the light, gentle feel of this foaming cleanser so far and completely blown away that she reached out. Thank you. To exfoliate twice a week, I love the Bioderma Sebium product. This is a gel with tiny little grains through it. Feels gritty, like you're really getting the bad stuff out, but still very gentle and your face is so smooth afterwards. Twice a week, I mask. Yep, it's a verb now. This is where the combo gets a bit more complicated. So I exfoliate twice a week, as I mentioned, once with Bioderma and once with this Dior Fresh Jelly Mask. Bella Hadid loves it, it smells like apricots, and it makes your skin look and feel brand new in five minutes. If I don't need an exfoliating mask, just something to clean things up, I love the Glossier Mega Greens Galaxy Pack. This can be left on for a bit longer, a true 20 minute pamper session. It really refreshes your skin, but it's not at all dried out or left with that awful tight, can't move your face feeling afterwards. If I need something stronger, I'll let the Origins Clear Improvement Mask go to work on my chin area to help clear up spots. So masking is really a case by case task twice a week. Toner's not a serious step for me, but I often use Bioderma Craoline to help remove masks or just freshen up my skin after cleansing. I go for the Sebium formula to match the cleanser and exfoliator that I use. A quick mist with Glossier Soothing Face Mist, then it's moisture time. Nope, surprise, another mask. On nights that I've used the Glossier Mega Greens Mask, I follow it with Glossier Moon Mask. This is just lovely, a lightweight cream texture that you can layer up depending on how hydrated your skin feels. Leave for 20 minutes or more, and when you wash it off, you momentarily have the softest face in the world, seriously. This is only the beginning of the hydration though. My skin's dry to normal everywhere apart from on my chin. Enter the serum options. To hydrate, I love the super lightweight cooling gel texture of the Chanel Hydra Beauty Micro Serum or Glossier Super Bounce. Both as delightful as each other. Incredibly hydrating, like giving your skin a big drink of water, but not at all heavy on the skin. Otherwise, if my skin's giving me a bit of grief and needs targeting, for spots around my chin, Effaclar Duo Plus helps unclog pores. The plus at the end is a formula that also targets redness from leftover spots, which I sadly suffer from. Out, damned spot. I'll use Glossier Super Glow on my cheeks if my complexion looks a bit dull. Nearly there, I swear. Moisturizer is the fun part, right? Glossier Priming Moisturizer Rich is fantastic. Nice lavender scent, very hydrating and smooth, but not too heavy. GoTo Skincare is one of my favorite Aussie brands. More on them in an upcoming video. Their very useful face cream is a winter favorite when I want something a bit thicker. I'll be more heavy handed with this around my cheeks. Otherwise, the Chanel Hydra Beauty Gel Cream is a fail safe, lightweight moisturizer. And I've also been using Hop and Cotton's The Brilliant Moisturizer, which E Ting formulated for me as well. 
This is a gel-like texture that you pat in and it absorbs really nicely. Very pleased with how that's been feeling. So I'd really recommend checking out Hop and Cotton if you have any specific skincare issues you'd like to target. She even ships internationally. Last step, to stop spots in their tracks, I'll apply a dab of the La Roche-Posay Effaclar AI Cream or the Mario Badescu Drying Lotion with a cotton bud as needed. Just a tiny bit of either of those right on the spot is enough to reduce the size overnight. We made it. So simple, you know. Sorry, this was a bit of a marathon, so I hope you found it interesting. This embarrassingly barely scratches the surface of my obsession, so please let me know if you'd like to see more skincare content or if you have any specific requests. And of course, please leave any product or brand recommendations below. I'm always on the hunt for new cult hits. Thank you and well done for lasting this long. See you next time.